back in my day, as they say, before the post-fact apocalypse of postmodernism and all opinions are equal and blah blah and all this new age stuff, we had uh, people like Julia Sumner Miller or the Curiosity Show, where we where children were taught uh, science on television. Now we just have pap and uh, lingerie models selling lingerie to underage children and all this nonsense. But Julia Sumner Miller, a uh, physicist, and and uh, well, we see a dumbing down of society, uh, leading to all sorts of. Uh, facts becoming now described as mystery and, and repackaged and this has to do with heavy lifting of stones and so I've done others on in some Roman obelisks this is the obelisk in the Place de la Concorde in Paris and its original location was the Temple of Luxor in Egypt this is a very uh, Ptolemaic period uh, temple there but anyway we're looking at the uh, obelisk here and you get an idea of the size there with the people now the uh, original anyway okay so we go back now the the base was changed because the original base was said to be uh, too obscene because we have uh, these well as I say sexed up uh, baboons which have been sort of cleansed but you get an idea of what they what was uh, going on there Temple of Luxor, Egypt, where we get a view, there's the temple itself, six degree offset pointing towards Karnak, very interesting, it's a separate topic. Um, uh, the, again, these uh, Egyptian columns, but again, we, there's a couple of, well, some very impressive obelisks there, which fall under the impossible to lift uh, without modern technology, which is absolute nonsense. And just an idea, there's a bit more of a temple. Just to get an idea of the size, uh, about 75, well, okay, 280 uh, metric tons is this particular obelisk. Now, if you were to Photoshop it back in place, that's the obelisk in Paris where it would be. And how did they move it? Well, it's going to be hard, but hard is not impossible. And people use the word impossible lifting too much, and really it's shameful. It's well the dumbing down of society so there are these basic tool every machine we have is basically a variation on these simple tools these very simple concepts which were known to ancient people they were not you know just you anyone who works with their hands long enough these are life-saving labor-saving techniques this is not modern discoveries they go back in time uh, farmers stonemasons construction uh, people in construction, architects, they knew about this, it was written down in ancient times. There is no doubt about this, uh, unless, of course, you're trying to sell a particular narrative. But anyway, I love physics, it makes people cry. So this is the plaque, uh, sorry, the base has these engravings on it, and actually shows how the Luxor obelisk, 280 tons, was moved. This side shows how it was lowered and then brought into this barge, which which uh, then moved it up the Nile. This shows this side shows how it was lifted once it was in Paris. But uh, what they so there you see just where the facade is, and you can still see the obelisk there, and that's what we have. And what they did was firstly they built a trench. Now I'm guessing that the trench was there because they so that they could bring the Luxor, uh, this um, create the ship in there to bring it closer and then to load it. Then it was. Um, a steam paddle took it earlier from the mouth of the Nile to Paris. Now, steam, now earlier Romans and uh, were able to do it with a barge. You didn't need a steam paddle to do it. And at that time, steam was very primitive. So they did not use steam power to lift it. It had nothing to do with it. So there we see a uh, very famous, you know, again, shown in place, very some very basic, simple tools following the ancients. For instance, the Romans and others used exactly the same technology. No modern technology was required in this. Uh, 280 tons, there's the plaque. We see again just how it was lifted. Firstly lowered and then brought into place and then how it was lifted there. Uh, and well, that's exactly the same as the uh, in the 1500s, how they recreated ancient technology to lift the even heavier obelisks in Rome, rollers, lifting tower, ropes, 
pulleys, capstans. That's all it was needed to do this. It was not impossible. Uh, this is ancient technology. There is nothing here that is modern. This is pre-industrial revolution. It can be done. This is again. So here we see the uh, Lateran obelisk. Um, it's exactly the cap stands the same the lifting towers exactly the same as what the French did it in the 1800s and it's no mystery at all uh, except for those who would hide it because it doesn't sell your rubbish narrative any su sufficiently advanced technology is dis indistinguishable from magic it is not magic this is <laughs> physics is not magic to those who do not you know for those who would tell you it's impossible can't be done nonsense absolute nonsense shameful 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 nonsense uh some other uh, in so if rome's but the best place to look at egyptian obelisks the ancient Romans romans moved a lot of them and they moved massive massive weight stones which are too often said to be impossible to lift even with modern technology this is bunk uh the cleopatra's needles they are called they were originally in the London and the New York one were originally in Heliopolis. They were moved to Alexandria by Cleopatra, and there they stood for uh, 1,800 years. Cleopatra's needle is 220 uh, tons, Central Park. So, again, uh, barge, ancient barges, you don't need modern technology. This is Cleopatra's needle in London. Oh, sorry, New York, actually a photo, lifting this stuff without the use of steam modern technology or anything like that we have the, you know the written evidence we have the photographic evidence but it's very important not to discuss this this is again <laughs> lifting equipment it's block and tackle rope wood stone it can manpower it can be done you don't even need pack animals to do it mechanical advantage it's genius uh, is a uh, Freemasonic foundation ceremony for the, the Egyptian uh, then the Egyptian flag uh, was d donated to there. Now that brings back to this fluff that just won't die. Uh, levitated mass three hundred and forty tons. Uh, about so the Luxor obelisk is about eighty percent of that weight. Now there is no magical cutoff point where the physics of weight suddenly changes. What was done with the Luxor, Luxor obelisk is directly comparable to the levitated mass, impossible modern technology nonsense. The original stone for 120 tons of crane broke, well, because it was a shit crane. It's, it's, they used the wrong crane, it was actually better cranes. But this, again, this nonsense, a specialised trailer had to be used to lift it. Now, that's got to do with the weight limits of the road and, say, and the, the price that would have had to have been paid if they had destroyed 100 kilometres worth of road. It would have been a huge amount of money. So this whole thing with the crane and the wheels and the, and the, and the trailer is fluff. It is, it is nonsense. The people who are selling you this are selling you bunk. Uh, you know, once they start showing this stuff, okay, and they can explain this away, I'll give you, you know, let's tip of a hat. But when you keep promoting ignorance and, and bullshit, you know, <laughs> you know I, I hold you in contempt. So again, once this stuff needs to die, it needs to die a natural death. The only ones who really promote it uh, refuse to see this technology, ancient technology, which is not high technology, it's existing technology. It's sailing, sailors were doing this. And again, because they, any significantly advanced technology, as in the pulley, is indistingu indistinguishable from magic. You, you know, you've got to understand how the how pulleys and levers and inclined planes work and the magic that can be done with this. This is science. So the dumbing down of society uh, is leading to this growth in lost high technology. Uh, there's you know I, I, there's no other way to put it. It really is uh, the amount of sock puppets who sort of come on and will look for arguments. That's Cleopatra's needle in London. Again, lifting tower, um, rope, wood, pulleys, that's 220 tonne. You can just scale it up to, as the Lateran obelisk, which was over 400 tonnes originally. Two of these lifting towers, as used in the Lateran obelisk, could easily lift the massive stones at Baalbek, which are said to be impossible to lift. And if anyone says that they're the heaviest stones ever moved, that's just rubbish too. 
the largest stone ever moved was the Thunderstone, and that was done in, in under Catherine the Great uh, era. Uh, uh, yeah, and again, so these two lifting, this lifting tower, two of these could lift the Baalbek stones, these heaviest stones ever lifted in ancient times. It's just fluff, and it really is, and, and it's got to die. It has to die a natural death. Um, those, it's just BS that keeps getting pushed and... Well, you know what can you what can you say? You just got you know it's important to keep fighting. Truth is important. Truth and knowledge is important. And those who would ignore this, diminish this, are, are committing a sin against. Because if one child pays attention to this impossible lifting junk, and then carries that to heart, you might have killed a brilliant engineer. Shame on you. Shame. <laughs> That's shame. 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 That's really all it is, you know. Uh, the, the amount of ignorance or lies that goes around this stuff is is spectacularly dumbfounding. And, well, dumb being the important uh, word and evil, you know, lies or ignorance. Either way, you know, if you want to learn about lifting, want to learn about physics, you need, please do. I encourage you to, to learn about these things. There are so many videos on the YouTube, if you have to watch, there are websites, there are textbooks, there are classic examples uh, all over this. And gather all the knowledge you can. It costs nothing and is no weight to bear.